Welcome to How It Works, a video series from Law Sites and Law Next in which you get to see hands-on demonstrations of legal tech products directly from the companies that develop them. In today's episode, we're looking at Sage Time Slips, a time and billing platform for law firms, legal professionals, and service-based businesses that offers a suite of features to streamline time tracking, invoicing, and financial management. Joining me today to tell us all about it is Desi Williams, sales engineer. Desi, welcome to How It Works. Give us a little bit of an overview of Sage Time Slips. Hi, Bob. Thank you for having me today. Time Slips has been a leader in the time and billing space for over 37 years. We have mastered the reporting, intuitive time features, everything that someone who's a lawyer or anyone tracking time is going to need. That's great. Uh, Well, we'd love to see a demo. So can we uh, go ahead and show us how it works? Yeah, absolutely. So first thing here you're going to see when you open up Sage Time Slips, you are greeted with what we call our navigator. This is going to be your dashboard, which is going to allow you to create your customized workflow. From the very beginning, when you enter into time slips, you have the option of a quick and easy wizard to begin building your database, and then you'll be greeted with our navigator. So I'm going to do a quick change of template because this is going to give you the ability of guiding through time slips quickly and efficiently, especially if you're a very new user. I'm changing this to tutorial. And it's going to show you the four easy steps to create your database, get started with your time and billing, and then accepting payments. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, I just want to point out to people who are watching this that this is an on-premises application, right? Yes, absolutely. So this gets installed on our servers and individual workstations, and that also enables everyone to have their own individual settings. Okay, thank you. All right. So first here, you're going to notice that our navigator, um, as I mentioned, it will allow everyone to have their own settings. One of my favorite things is everywhere you see a gear, you can click here, and that will allow you to make any kind of changes, updates, and customizations so that you're able to view the information that you want to view while you can create your custom workflows. I'm going to move on to the client creation. So I'm going to first bring up an individual client. And one thing that you're going to notice is we have an option if I move directly into our rates. Time slips allows you to keep rates in multiple different ways. So first, you have an option for creating them for your clients. So if you have clients who are picky and just have their own rates, you're able to place those rates for each individual client. You also have the option of creating rates For the individual task, I will bring up a task. If you would like to place rates for task, if there are certain tasks that you have inside of time slips where it's going to always be a set amount, you're able to assign that for the task itself. But most commonly used is going to be the rates that you place onto your individual attorney. And also keep in mind, any of the naming conventions that we have inside of time slips, we call our clients, clients. But you do have the ability of changing that name. We call our timekeepers, timekeepers, but you can change that to attorney. I'm gonna pick on myself here. These are the rate tables for the attorneys. And by default, most individuals use this where we can set up to 20 different rates. And this way, once you set this information in, when you're creating your slips, it's easy to select those and you don't have to remember them. Do you have any questions about the different rate options? No. So if I understand you, then uh, an attorney, you can set the rates by the attorney, but the attorney may want to handle certain clients, bill at a certain rate or certain kinds of matters, bill at a certain rate. So it has that flexibility to set it those various ways. Absolutely. You got it. It allows for flexibility. And you, once I pull up the slip itself, it's going to give you a, a better understanding as well. So now let's move on to 
that portion that I was speaking of, of this slip entry. So time slips is a lot of simple time tracking features, and we would like for individuals to have the ability of selecting which one works best for them. So for some, that's going to be our simple slip entry. I'm going to pull up our new slip. Here, you're going to find that the slip entry screen is going to allow you to enter in who's doing this timekeeping. And with time slips, you also have the ability of keeping track of slips for multiple individuals. Say I was in my early days. I worked as a paralegal in a previous life. I can keep track of multiple individuals' time in one space. So you'll see I have the drop down to select who is keeping track of the time, what client we are billing for, and then the task. This is going to give me the ability to save the slip. You do have can't settings as far as your descriptions. Anything that's entered in on the description for your task will come onto the slip by default. Here, you would enter in your time spent, as well as you have the ability to utilize a tracker for our timer. This timer will run. You can even set this to automatically run as soon as you open a slip, so that way you're not losing even a second once you begin to bill. And on this screen also, you're going to notice you have the ability of changing that information. You notice it defaulted to my timekeeper because that's our default setting. But if I was on, wanted to change that on the fly, I could just use any of these drop downs, change those, and it will give me different information aside from the default. You do also have the ability of changing your statuses. You can be billable, which is by default, which is what we all like is billable time. But you can also change that to um, non-billable as well. You have the no charge as well as do not bill. No charge is going to be one of the fun ones. No charge is going to show on the bill itself, but it's going to also say no charge. And everyone likes to see when they're getting free things. So it still shows on the bill. Clients like that. <laughs> Absolutely. And then you also have, this is a feature that's utilized mainly for expenses. I'm going to just do a quick click over here to change it to an expense slip. And now it's no longer looking for our time. It's just looking for a price and a quantity. I'm going to place in copying. And I would just place in my amount. Let's say I did 97 pages. It's automatically going to calculate that amount. But one of the good things is, is let's say this was something that had a receipt. You do have the ability of attaching a receipt. If this is something that you would like to show on the bill to prove that you've done the work, you would just simply attach the receipt. Do you have any questions about our slip entry screen? Desi, I do. One question I have is what happens when I've got a timer running and I'm working on, a, say, a writing a, a brief uh, for a particular client and then a phone call comes in and I have to switch to a different client? Am I able to kind of switch my timekeeping among different matters like that or different clients? Yes, absolutely. So if you have a timer running and let's say you get that phone call, you can create a new slip. It's going to automatically stop that timer and begin starting the timer on the next. Okay. And then I can just switch back when I'm done. Yes, absolutely. And it'll let you know on the list, you do have the ability of seeing which timer is running. It's going to be a big red timer. So you know which one is not running. All right. Perfect. So I'm going to close out of this. So that's an easy way of entering. And that's one of the most common. But we do also have something that is very easy and simple to use, which is going to be our day view. This is one of my favorites. This is the day view. It's going to allow you to do the same things we were doing on a slip. However, it's going to allow you to do them very quickly. So you'll see I have my timer. I have my timekeeper, my client, and then I also have references if I utilize those. I can simply drag and drop any of these tasks onto the day view, stretch my time out. If it took me that long to do budgeting, it's there. This will automatically create a slip for me. So then I can enter in any information and I can do that as much as I'd like throughout my day. Some people will use this religiously just so it's quick and easy. And then once you select to save, I instantly have four slips created. Hmm. Gives you a good map of your day and you'll see down here, it tells me the amount of time that I've spent on this particular day. So if you're someone who has to 
keep a track of, let's say, eight hours time. You can see at a glance how close you are or how far you are and where you are for the month as well. And you can do this for multiple timekeepers if you're someone who keeps time for, for many people. That's great. So you, you can kind of use that to both to plan your day at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day to look back on what you did, I would assume. Yes, absolutely. And for someone like me who might get a little scattered, I can place my time on here and see what it is that I have to accomplish. And then while I'm viewing it and I can make adjustments for it throughout the day. Nice. So our next feature that is heavily utilized is going to be very similar to quickly entering in your time. It's going to be our timesheet entry. So I'm going to access that here with our slips. This is our timesheet entry, and it's going to be the same type of effect, only you'll just have to enter in. You create templates, and then you have the ability of just entering in throughout the week how many hours you've done on each of those tasks. Does that seem very simple for you? Very intuitive. <laughs> Wonderful. So I will close out of this screen, and we're going to move to our next section. Now that we've built some of the database by entering in our client's timekeeper's task. We know how to enter in a slip. Now we're going to go to the generation of bills. When I say that things can't get any easier when you're generating your bills, I really mean it. So time slips allows you to filter as much or as little as you'd like. With this being empty, this is going to grab all of my clients who have time from the beginning of time if I have no filters on there. So common filters are going to be, of course, the time slip transaction date. Most people run that for the month. But for me and for this demo, I am going to run this for everything. And it's also going to show you just how fast this information pulls. Beautiful. So this is my first client. This is going to give you a rundown. You are, have a built-in cover page, which you can use, or you can um, turn this feature off. And then you have the bill itself. It's going to show you the time as well as the amounts and hours that are spent. This is by default and this is standard built in. But if you would like to customize, which is where we really shine, customization, because you're literally able to drag any of these fields and place them where you would like. Let's say you want your company letterhead. I'm just going to right click and insert my graphic and find that company letterhead. If I'm in a section of the bill, and I don't want to show information, just click it, delete it, save it, and move on. That way you can customize your bill quickly, easily, and efficiently. Our next feature, we're going to go over the fact that you do have the option of many different billing arrangements. Billing arrangements are going to depend on the client. So different clients may have Typically, we have some who have flat fees. That's very common. That's easy to set up. I can select an arrangement, and you'll see here I have the option of doing it just for our time, which will bill for the time, and then it allows you to bill for the expenses. So I'm going to pull up slips, and I'm going to change this to an absolute flat fee. And as you see, we have a lot of different arrangements that you're able to utilize, even having progress billing. But I'm going to do an absolute flat fee. It's very simple and easy to set up. I would just simply select the amount for the bills. I can say if it's perpetual or if it's for a number of jobs. And then I can also place a little note on the bill if I would like as well. And once that information is saved, this becomes a flat fee client until your designated time period or you have the ability of just setting it for that one bill. Does that seem easy? Yeah, I like that there's a lot of different options for how you set up the invoicing here. Perfect. And you do have the option of doing it for a full and total bill, which will take into account it's not going to um, itemize the expenses individually as well. You have that option for a full bill or separating it out. So now moving on, you do also have the option when you're creating a bill to do what we call a quick bill. With a quick bill, the quick bill is going to allow you to simply enter in, let's say it's a client 
who've come in and they're coming right in the door, they're ready to go, you can simply enter in their information. You can either do an existing client, which will give you the drop down, and you can do quick slip entry just from this one screen and create a bill just as easy as can be. So you can get a bill out the door in just a few minutes. Nice. And this will allow you to enter in up to 10 slips at one time for that bill. So if you got to get the bill going, you have this quick bill. And lastly, I would like to show you the report options because our reports are the best. And I'm not just saying that because I work here. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> so with our reports, if the information is inside of time slips, I can almost guarantee you that we have a report that's already pre-designed 99% of the time, and we can get that information onto a report for you. So you'll see we have over 140 different reports and report options. Some of our most common ones are going to be our slip listing report. This will give you the ability of viewing any slips. You can add many different filters. I'll change that to all so you can see the different type of filter options that you have available. And you can also add different sort and subtotals. So for instance, if I wanted to sort this out by a client, I'm going to select that client, move that information up. So now when I print this, it's going to give me a breakdown of each individual client, and then it's going to give me a subtotal. And one of our really fun features that I like, you'd notice that it's highlighting in yellow. If I click there, I can make edits on the fly and then save and return and come back to my slip. So you can get a quick view of everything in your database just by what you have set for your filters. Do you have any questions? Uh, I have not about reporting, but I have one other question before we wrap up that I wanted to ask you about. Yes, absolutely. I, what I wanted to know is, uh, as I said earlier, this is an on-premises uh, application. What happens if I'm out of the office and I want to record time? Ooh, I'm glad you asked. So if you are out of office and you want to record time, we do have an ability of doing so. We have a feature called eCenter. eCenter is going to allow you to enter in your time on the go. Anything that has a web browser, so that's going to be your cell phones, your tablets, a laptop, I can just sign into our secure site and it will give me the ability to create a slip on the go and I can enter in my time. I can even start a timer if I would like as well. And this is connected to the internet. And then once you are back to your computer, you have the ability of going in and connecting it, and it will download all of those slips directly into your database. Well, Desi, thank you so much for taking the time to tell us all about Sage Time Slips today. Thank you for having me. That's it for this episode of How It Works. You can find the full series at lawnext.com or on YouTube. This is Bob Ambrochi. Thanks for watching.